Hey guys, Technic here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to extract RAW file on your iPhone on iOS 16 without any third party apps. And you can do it with the apps that you have on your iPhone. So let's get started. First thing is, if you open up your files app, you might already have downloaded the raw file that you want to extract. First, go ahead and locate that. So as you can see on my iPhone, if I browse on the files app and I click on on my iPhone and click on downloads, I have these four raw files available, but when I try to click and open it, it doesn't open because it can't extract them. Even if I click on the options here, there is really no option to do extraction. So I need to figure out how to extract it. So how do you go about doing it? So as I mentioned, make sure you're on iOS 16 as this method works with iOS 16 pretty well. Now what you'll do is you'll see there's a shortcut built-in app again on your iPhone. You're going to go ahead and open that up. Once you open up, you get a menu like this. You click that plus icon up top here. So you click on that. So you click on that. You get a menu just like this. Don't worry. You'll see here there's a search option at the bottom. You click on that and then you'll search for file. Now when you search for file, you don't want to click on that one, but you'll look for this one where it's singular, just file. You click on that. And once you click on that, you'll get something like this where the file name here. You're going to click on that and then you're going to go open it's going to open up the files app on your phone and you're going to locate that again the file that you want to extract so for us it's in downloads and then we'll do this one sample one raw so we'll click on that we'll hit open and once we do that we want to do the next step which is going to be search again one more time and this time we're going to say extract archive so we'll select that option and then once you do that extract archive the last thing we do is add this plus icon for save file. So as you can see here, we have three steps going for this shortcut. We're going to select the file, extract it, and then save it to our files app. And then the last thing you can do here for advanced option is if you click on this over here, you can actually rename this shortcut. So I'm going to rename it to something like extract raw file. And that's for my own save. So I can know that this shortcut will allow me to extract raw file. So I'm going to hit that done option. And once I hit that done option, all I do is I get back to this menu and if I want to extract a file, all I do is click on that and I give it the location that I want it to save it to. I'll put downloads here and then I'll click on open. And as you can see, here, it's spin around depending on how big it is. If you have a big file, it might take a few minutes sometimes. If you have a small one, maybe 10, 15 seconds, be patient, you'll see that spinny thing, and when it's complete, it'll have these three dots. And now, if I go back to my Files app, as I can see here, sample.1.1 created another file, which is extraction version of that raw file. If I click on it, now I can open it, just like that. So that's how you do it. Now, let's say you want to do another, another a raw file. Do you have to do the same thing? Well, no, you don't have to. So this time, what you can do is, click on these three dots icon just like that and instead you see where you we put in that sample one we all we have to do to extract another file is simply replace that with the next file that we want to do so we'll click on sample 2 we'll open we'll hit that done option and what you'll do is to extract that next file again activate that shortcut just like that and give it a location where you want to save it in your files app so download one more time here I'm going to click open and it again you saw that spinny thing happening and then check mark that means it completed that and then I can open a files app one more time and this time I should see another example for that so which is example this one as you can see if I click on that or click on this one as you can see these are pretty much the same one but you get the idea here and again again you feel to do it again and keep on continuing it by simply each time that you want to change it all you do is click on that file that you want to change up let's say you want to change up maybe another one maybe we'll do number four here I'll hit that open and then I'll hit that done option activate it pick my location open you can see it's spinning here open a files app and now I should see this time it opened up as you can see a song that was the raw file so that's all you do as you can see I can open it up of course I don't want to play it because of copyright but you can see here it extracted that raw file this time it was a song of course but that's essentially what most people will be downloading raw files so that's how you do raw file extraction on your eye so hopefully this quick little video is helpful so please make sure that like and subscribe button if you guys have any other problems 
leave a comment in the comment section